Good morning. I'm running late. Um, <laughs> early mornings are not my forte, but I'm super happy to be here this morning for Gen Con Spring. It's been a while since we've done a stream, uh, as we can tell, because I'm so frazzled this morning. I had to run and get everything set up and do all the kind of stuff and, yep, make coffee. But we're here and we're going to play Color It. So we're going to play Color It this morning. Uh, if you haven't, oh, let me turn off some stuff. I've got like a lot of awesome brand things going on, but also <laughs> like mm, kind of in the way. There we go. That'll fix up. So we're going to play Color It this morning. If you weren't aware, Color It is a roll and color game from Haba for ages four and up. The game itself is for two to four players, but mm, we play with as many people want to play, uh, especially when we play here online with Twitch or YouTube. So if you would like to play along with us, what you're going to need is you're going to need to print off Good morning, Louisa. Ooh, lunch and gaming, yay. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna need to print off a coloring sheet. So we're gonna print and play with the Gen Con Dragon because it's Gen Con Spring today, if you didn't know. And you can go ahead and get that coloring sheet from the Haba website. I'm gonna put it in the chat right now. So if you are on Twitch, I just realized YouTube's not gonna see it. If you're on Twitch, you will um, be able to see the coloring sheet. If you're on YouTube, because I'm dual stringing right now, um, you cannot see that. There you go, I'll put it there. So, if you need to, good morning, please stop texting me. <laughs> um, if you would like to color along with us, go ahead and print off one of those sheets per player that's playing along, and then you will need something to color with. So, the game uses five colors on a D6, and so what we're going to do is I'm going to roll the dice and it'll, it'll tell us every round what colors we can pick from to color with. So, that you are ready, you're going to need to grab these five colors. So you're going to need a yellow, a blue, a green, a red, and a purple. Okay. And you can do whatever version of those colors you want. So if you have like a very light, almost pinkish red, you can use that or like maybe a very dark red. Um, you can kind of customize these colors to whatever shades you would like. So go ahead and get those ready. And I'm going to go ahead and set up the camera stuff. Let's see if this works. It works. So this is what you need. Okay. And I'm going to give everybody some time to get that ready. And I'm going to post to various social media platforms that we are live so people can come and play with us. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, do, 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 do. Did you know? It's been ages since I streamed. Uh, da, da, da. But it's like missile memory. You know, you remember. Oh, my keyboard is dying. It makes it makes typing very fun. And by fun, I mean not fun at all. Um, so let me do this. Dun, 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 dun. So just, <laughs> typing is the worst. I don't like typing. Hey, Tabletop Santa! Good morning, Tabletop Santa. How are you enjoying, did you have a good vacation, Tabletop Santa? Um, I've lost every, everything. Okay. Um, ugh, there we go. My keyboard for the adults in the room. My keyboard is the kind of keyboard where you, um, you, uh, it's the Mac Pro that has the, like, warranty keyboard issues, and it started to have the issues, like, last February, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna go on this one trip, and then when I come back, I'll get my, my stuff replaced from the warranty. Yeah, uh, I came back, and it was locked down, and Apple has 
dis uh, has suspended all of that work. So color with me. Okay. Um, tweet tweeted. Now I will retweet from that account. And now we're here and I can focus on you all, which is fabulous and lovely. This is part of Gen Con Spring Fling. That is right. That is why we are coloring the Gen Con Dragon, which I am super excited about. Uh, and my coloring sheet is like upside down uh, and a little crooked because of the way my camera is. So I'm coloring the dragon upside down today. But this is technically part of the Gen Con Spring uh, showcase is what they're calling it. Uh, but I decided to do some fun family friendly play along stuff. So we're going to color, uh, I believe the dragon's name is Geneva. Uh, so we're going to color Geneva this morning. All right. So I'm assuming everybody is ready. So what we're going to do is get my face uncovered because I just realized I'm covered up by the thing. Let's do this one. That one works. I have so many fun options. Oh, this one works too. Let's do this one. Okay. So. What we're going to do is we're going to play Color It, and again, this is the game, so if you are not familiar, this game is for two to four players, it's $14.99 um, in the U.S., and uh, it is a roll and color game for ages four and up, and um, I love this game. <laughs> the game normally comes, I'm just going to show you, we've played a lot of streams for like, last year we did a lot with Gen Con and Origins and and all that stuff, um, we played a lot. So the sheets that come with the game are, uh, these are obviously all colored from, from games that I have played. I've played a lot of color on stream. So the sheets that come with the game normally are um, these little quarter sheets. Uh, and I like to sometimes do doodle rules and things like that. Like this house is one of my favorites that we doodled one stream. So these are the four sheets that come in the game normally, but we also have a bunch of promo sheets available on our website. So if you go to habausa.com and you go to learn more, there's an activities and printables tab. And under that tab, we have a whole bunch of activities and coloring sheets, and we have coloring sheets that you can use to play color it with. So there's a Rhino Hero one, there's a building site one, there's this dragon one from Gen Con. There's one from Bees, uh, Honey Buzz. If you know Honey Buzz, which is a great honey bee game that came out from Elf Creek Games um, earlier this year, we have a Honey Buzz coloring sheet. So if you, oh, we also have a uh, Aquarius, Aqua Aquarius from Looney Labs coloring sheet. So if you already have color and you want to mix it up, we have all of these fun printable coloring sheets available. And they all kind of have some slightly different rules. This sheet, what we're going to do is you want to be the first person to fill in all of the color spaces. And you'll notice there are spaces that have these like gray pips. Um, and the pips are either one, twos, or threes. And you want to be the first person to color it in. And I just looked at this sheet. There's a lot of twos. Um, I don't know if they put any threes. I don't think they put any threes. <laughs> Whoops! This is what happens when you partner with somebody and then uh, you don't check the work. Whoops, whoops, whoops. All right, we're going to we're gonna quickly modify these sheets. So if you're playing along very quickly, go ahead and add another pip to every other <laughs> space in the dragon's wings um, because they forgot to add three pip spaces. So we're just going to go ahead and add and make some three pip spaces. Um, I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, you can kind of tell which ones I added. So here, 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 and here. So we have some three spaces. Um, I think that's probably enough. Um, maybe one here. Maybe most of the wing the wing skin membranes will be will be three spaces. Um, so what we're going to do is on the start of a turn, I'm going to roll all four of these dice. And then everyone 
gets to make a set. So you're only going to make one pair and every pair is a pip and a color. So we have, you could make a one yellow or you could make a three yellow or we actually rolled the sparkly glitter star, which means that you can pick whatever color you want. So you could do a one star or you could do a three star, but you're going to make one set, one match, and you're going to color in a space that has the pip value that you picked. So let's go ahead and just get started. Make sure, remember, because this sheet, I'm going to have to reach out to Gen Con, but go ahead and add another pip on each of the wing spaces on the dragon. These like flappy ones. Don't do this upper one right here, but each of these flappy wing spaces down here, the um, membranes, I guess. Uh, go ahead and add another pip. So those are three spaces because Gen Con forgot to add three spaces. So there we go. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, hi, John. Hi, kiddos. Hello, everyone. I'm really excited about this dragon. This dragon's pretty excited. I believe the Gen Con dragon name is uh, Gwen? Guinevere? Yeah, I think it's Guinevere. All right. So let's go ahead and say that this was our first roll. Uh, so you can make one pair. So you can do a three with whatever color you want, because that's what the star is. Or you can do a one with whatever color you want. Or if you really just like yellow, you can do a three yellow or a one yellow. So I have to make some decisions. And with this coloring sheet, you just kind of have to, there's not always dividing lines between the spaces. So for example, each of the legs is a, is a one pip, but you'll notice that like this upper wing shoulder and this leg and torso and this leg are all kind of connected. So just kind of like, you know, make zones, divide it up. Yeah, you're going to pick one area, one space to color in that is that color. And I'm actually going to go ahead, I think I'm going to make the, I'm going to make the wing flaps purple. And this is, so once you pick your first space, there you go. The other rule is, as you color, you can have no two touching spaces be the same color. So now that I've colored in this like membrane, this wing, wing skin, dragon wings are like bat wings, right? Um, once I've colored this end purple, I can't color in the like wing structure that runs between them purple as well, because then purple would be touching purple. But there's that nice dividing line between this wing section and the next wing section. So technically I could color the whole wing, like the wing skin purple, which is, which is my plan. I'm hoping to do that. It might not work out. Um, but this coloring sheet, like I said, there's some areas where, where the section is, is not super clear. So if you're playing with little ones and you need to set a better dividing line, especially right here, just go ahead and add that with like a pen or a pencil to make the sections more clear. So I'm just gonna like extend this shoulder line so it cuts it off and then I'm gonna wrap this shoulder line so it cuts it off. So now I have a very clear definition between these areas, okay? You know, so just, you know, this is a fun coloring activity not meant to be taken super competitively serious. So just make it work. Make it work. This is obviously the first time I've tried to play with the dragon because if I tried to play with the dragon earlier, I would have caught these issues. But I have something to fix before my stream tomorrow because tomorrow morning I'm gonna play this again and I'll probably do the dragon again because the dragon is awesome. All right, that was a big space. Has everybody got their space colored in? Yeah, we're doing the Gen Con Dragon, Cabbage King. Gen Con Dragon. We just started, so you could catch up if you want. All right, here we go, next one. So now I'm gonna re-roll. 
and we're all gonna have to pick a new set. Whoop. Okay, I liked the threes and the ones. So you can either do a three blue, a one blue, or you can do a three red or a one red. And I think I'm gonna do the one red and I'm gonna go ahead and do this part of the wing. So like the shoulder joint and the connecting uh, bone wing structure for the dragon. Oh yeah. There's a lot of coloring on this sheet, which I'm kind of excited about. I like coloring. I don't know about you all. It's coloring is one of those things that I never like grew out of. If that makes sense. When I was in um, college, when I was a freshman in college, you know, they have those big classes with like 300 students in them and the professor just like talks at you and you have to take notes and then yeah, it's that is very hard for me to focus on, especially if it was a class that I like kind of already knew the stuff in. So I would color. I would bring coloring books and my mom bought me <laughs> Winnie the Pooh coloring books and I would bring I would bring the coloring books to class and I would sit and color in my coloring books. And so, you know, from the professor's perspective, I was like super studious, taking notes. Uh, but anybody around me knew I was just coloring Tigger and Pooh. Tigger and poo all day, every day. Yeah, we're having an early morning meetup. Um, I am showing off. Well, I'm showing off um, the key. I'm not showing off any new games myself, Cabbage King. Um, but Ruel is doing a playthrough of our new deduction game, The Key. And that's actually happening uh, at the next block. So 10 a.m. Pacific, which is the top of the hour. So I will be in the chat answering any questions. Um, but you all should tune in and help because there's like a logic dedu deduction thing. And I'm kind of hoping, I don't know, but I'm kind of hoping they show like the clue cards on screen and have the chat try and help them figure out the mystery. I think that would be super fun. So yeah, you all should tune in because the new key games are out and available now. They landed this week. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, yay! That's awesome. Is it Quadrain? 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 <laughs> my mom is in the chat, if you didn't know. I did also draw and doodle some of my classmates. This is true. Um... But yeah, if you're interested, um, yeah, Dr. Plorin, Plorin approves my method of focusing during lectures. Um, so uh, if you're interested about the key, Gen Con TV, we're actually going to raid Gen Con TV uh, at the end of the stream so that we can go watch Rel, um play the key. I'm really excited. I actually am using <laughs> the game to hold my laptop up. Hang on. Well... <laughs> So, um, the key Sabotage at Lucky Llama Land is out now. It's available from HobbyUSA.com. Uh, and this game is fabulous and fun. Uh, Steve and I actually played it last night because I was so excited that the, the like, print run manufactured, like, real version of the game is available now. It's a very fun logic deduction game. We actually have two that have come out today. Technically, they released today or like last night at midnight or something. Um, but we have one that is the Sabotage at Lucky Llama Land, and then we have another one that is Murder at the Oakdale Club. And that one's like kind of tricky because it's mathy. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, my mom got to play the key with me. Mom, you played the theft one. Um, so, yeah. All right, here we go. Next set. Do, do, do. Oh, lots of ones. Okay, well, I can continue my dragon theming. Okay, so we have a one with a, a red, or a one with a red, or a one with a green. If you really want to get crazy, though, one with a green. So many options. Um, so it looks like the dragon body is mostly ones, and because I already did red, 
Actually, is this sheet like impossible? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. This sheet is vaguely impossible to do, but it's fine. We're all having fun. Uh, I'm gonna do this shoulder, this arm, green. If you're playing with little ones and the no colors adjacent rule is too hard to maintain, especially with this sheet, which I will argue is a promo sheet and thus not as well uh, monitored <laughs> as the official sheets, uh, you can just suspend that rule. That's fine. But I will be making a rainbow dragon in the best of my ability today with these coloring rules. The key is super fun. I'm going to be doing demos of the key after, or so we will be doing demos of the key after Ruel's stream. So we're going to have a demos available um, in the Gen Con Discord that is happening. Uh, we will have those demos available from noon until 6 p.m. today Pacific time. So if you would like to demo the key, we have it on Tabletopia. So you can... Um, go there and play. So there's that. Um, playing it on Tabletopia is, is, is a little tricky because you have to like learn how to use Tabletopia. So if you're not super comfortable with Tabletopia, it might be more frustrating than not. But if you're comfortable with game uh, Tabletopia or Tabletop Simulator, those kind of online digital game platforms, you should be fine. So yay. Greetings from Germany. Hello. Spieltreffen. Vertello. <laughs> Oi. What time is it there? It's nine hours, so it would be 18. So 6.30. 6.30, that's a pretty good time, actually, for color it rolling. Yes, a two! I think this is our first two. All right. So you can do a one purple, a one red, or you can do a two red or a two purple. And this is our first two. Hmm. What do I want to do? I think the dragon belly and the head and the tops of the wings are all twos. I think I'm just going to, I'm going to try and keep my wing all purple. So I'm going to do this top part of this wing. Um... Yeah, and um, if you are curious, you can play the key if you have multiple people that want to play, but they're in different households and everybody owns a copy. You can play simultaneously together because the game is a little sandboxy and then you just compare scores. Uh, so that is an option. Uh, I intend to send copies to my nieces because they really like this game. Um, so they, I know, will play with me over Zoom. So um, if you're looking for games that you can play like physically with family or friends over video calls right now, this is one that, that will work and is kind of kid friendly. So spoilers, mom, I'm ordering um, copies of the key. I think I'll just deliver it to your house. So, there we go. I was right. It's 6.27 p.m. It's pretty good, pretty good game times. Mm. The one problem with playing Color It on stream is, like, I can't see everybody else's, um, like, sheets. <laughs> So when we're all done, you all are going to have to like tweet or Facebook us and tag Haba. All right, next one. Ooh, a wild. Okay, so I liked doing them this way. So we have one is our only option. Sorry, everyone. Uh, but you can do purple or you can do whatever color you want. So I'm going to continue with my rainbow dragon theme. And I'm going to go ahead and do a one. And I'm going to do blue. And I'm going to color this part. So like the side torso. I need to sharpen this pencil. This is such a cool coloring sheet. I'm gonna have to like do those little tweaks that I mentioned to make it more playable by the color it rolls. But this art is so well done. Gen Con did a great job. Um, 
So I was looking for my other copy, <laughs> my other copy of Color It, because that's the one I keep the pencil sharpener in. Do you, do you have a copy of color that you put your pencil sharpener on? Legends DM, it's 7.27 a.m. Are you in Alaska or Hawaii or uh, where are you that you are two hours behind me? I'm very curious. I know I just named American locations, but that's all I could think of it right now. <laughs> I was like... You're too, Fiji's on the other side of the date line, so you're not that far. Definitely not Australia. They're still asleep. I got real, I've gotten really good at time zones in the last, um, in the last year because I have, Habo is an international company and we have lots of international partners and normally we all like meet in real life at shows in Germany because or just sh in Germany or like at shows because we all travel so much but um Miles says you're in Michigan oh is it cold there right now in Michigan do you have snow <laughs> some of some of Cabbage King's pencil sharpeners are indeed in the color of box it's a good place for pencil sharpeners Xena agrees can you all hear Xena um but I, because we all can't travel to shows, we all have been doing Zoom calls. So we've gotten really good at, like, figuring out time zones and where everybody is. So, all right. Rolling again. Oh, wow. What is with me and rolling no twos? I'm glad I, like, got rid of some of our twos. Okay, so one is, again, the only number. One is the only number that I'll ever roll. Okay. Uh, and then you can pick whatever color you want or you can pair it with red. I'm going for like this rainbow dragon thing in this area and so I have to be very like strategic in what colors I do because of color matching. So I think I'm gonna have to do... I'm like thinking through this strategically <laughs> because coloring is something that should be strategic. Because um, I have this, this belly area touches a lot of spaces. So I think what I need to do, if I make it blue, will that work? I think I can make it blue. I don't know if that would be weird. I'm, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stop. Oh no, because I want to make that orange. So I want to make that yellow. Okay, I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm just gonna do it. We're not gonna overthink it today. I haven't finished my coffee yet. I'll overthink when I'm done with my coffee. It's I've rolled a lot of ones. It's pretty crazy. Thank you all for joining me on a Saturday morning. I know I didn't like super advertise that I was doing this. <laughs> I just was like, I'm just going to color. Oh, so this one spot that I picked, it turns out it's it's the whole face. It's her whole face because this dragon, I believe the pronouns are she, her. They have it on their website. I'm going to invite some Gen Con staff to color. I know they're super busy, but tomorrow maybe they'll color with us if I give them a heads up. Be like, hey, you can mod... You can run and mod your Discord while also coloring. This is such a cool color. I'm so happy they, they, they made this sheet for us. It's so cool. It's so cool. <sighs> nom, 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 nom. All right. We ready? Here we go. Some twos! I was you I was asking for twos, I got twos. Alright. I'm really good at rolling doubles today. So you can do a two red or a two green. Or you can do a two red or a two green. So you're gonna pick one of those sets and color it. Oof. Hey, that was the name of the game. It's like I did that on purpose. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't wanna do green. Oh okay. There's two spaces up here that are green that are twos. 
Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna do this tiny little, um, this tiny little thing. Oh, and you know what I just noticed? They made the whole sky a two. So the whole sky is a two. Uh, I'm gonna say that when you color in that two space, you don't have to worry about the adjacent color rule because that would be impossible. I think for this game, the adjacent color rule just doesn't work. <laughs> uh, I will be modifying this sheet after this stream um, to maybe be, I think if I make this to this cloud, it'll work. Pretty sure it'll work. But I just colored in this tiny little part, this tiny little fin on the top of the head. So I'm gonna give you all some time to color it. It's like, it's like I named the game the right thing. I did not do that on purpose, by the way. <laughs> hmm. Do, do, do. This is um, one of my most played games because it's it's just coloring and I love it. <coughs> Coffee grounds. <coughs> Did you know it's spring? Spring and allergies. Oh, that's awesome, Cabbage King. Cabbage King says that uh, their niece loves this game. She plays it with her Spanish class. That's great. I've played it with um, Hava Spain. Have a Spain when they did color it streams um, every morning of Spiel. Uh, it was my morning, it was their afternoon, and so I would like eat my breakfast and have my coffee while Have a Spain was playing color it in Spanish, and they would do Spanish English. But I I loved that. Ilka was hosting it with Bo and I think Maria, um, and they would like do the numbers and colors in Spanish and English. That was it was super fun. Um, rojo. <laughs> <coughs> and I practiced my German. I was practicing my German colors when they did that. So, uh, let's see. Um, zwei rot oder zwei grün. Und, uh, if you were to do it in Spanish, I think it would be, um, dos rojo o, or, yeah, o, dos rojo o, those, uh, I don't remember what green is. I don't remember green in Spanish. Ah! All right, if you remember what green is in Spanish, put it in the chat. There it is. Cabbage King. Cabbage King remembered Spiel Spanish multicolor. <laughs> because the Spanish, the Haba Spanish name for this game is, um, the Haba Spain name is multicolor. There I am with the double ones again. Um, if for whatever reason you can't color in a space, you just have to like sit out that turn. So your options are one any color or one yellow. Uh, and I had a plan. I did have a plan. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do... Um, I'm going to do this other front leg green. I was kind of debating doing every leg a different color, but I think this makes you know, more sense from like a chromosome DNA development standpoint, you know, like the, the front arms, the DNA sequence for front arms is just green, you know? <laughs> yeah. Double ones. <clears throat> Let's see. Can I do any other languages? I don't think I can. Cause I could do I can count to three in, um, in Japanese and French as well, but I don't know those colors. I don't know those colors at all. Because it would be Ichi. Ichi is one uh, in, in Japanese, uh, but I just don't know. I don't know colors. Uh, oh, do I even know one in French? <laughs> I don't think I know one in French. <laughs> Uh, that English was really good, Spiel, uh, Spiele Treffen. The, they say that the Spiel 21 Fair in Essen, Germany in October will probably not take place as face-to-face, -face, but again on the web. Maybe, we'll see. Un, un, du, 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 toi, toi. 
I don't, French, like, just ignores vowels, and that doesn't work well for me. <laughs> Un, deux, trois. Steve speaks French. I don't speak French. All right, let's roll again. <gasps> I didn't roll a pair, but I did roll a pair of colors, so I guess technically I did roll a pair. All right, so you can do a two purple or a three purple, but purple is the only color you can color this round. But that works for me because I want purple wings. I'm gonna have to speed up this coloring if we're gonna make it to Urel's the key stream. Doo doo doo. Oh. Sorry if you hear boops. I did not. I did not mute my Discord, apparently. Do, 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 do. Bum, 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 bum. Alrighty. Let's roll again. Here we go. Lila. That's right, Lila. And Lila is 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 was purple in Spanish and in German. It worked for both. Oh hey! No two dice are the same. I did it. <laughs> Alright, one green or a two green, or you can do a one yellow or a two yellow. Um and I have been waiting to do yellow because I've decided I want to do this part of the belly yellow. So I don't know how well this will turn up on camera, but I'm going to color this front, like neck, belly, tough scale part, yellow. Um, I'm like, Amar, Amar, Amarillo, Amarillo? And then, I cannot remember what it is in German right now. I should know these things. I don't remember. I don't remember. Roja is red. Amarillo. Yeah, Amarillo is, is yellow in Spanish. But I don't remember what it is in uh, German. Don't know. I don't know. You missed blue, Cabbage King. Azul. All right. I did it again. No two are the same. All right. So we have a three red or a two red, or you can do a three purple or a two purple. And I think I am going to work on my wings because I got a lot of purple. I got a lot of purple wings to do. Because I want a rainbow dragon that has purple wings. I am excited for purple wings. I, <clears throat> I should know more Spanish than I do. It's all flown out my head. Uh, I did five years of Spanish in school. And, uh, like, when I <clears throat> sit down and think about it, I can, like, bring it back up. But, um, at this point, the German has kind of, like, <laughs> overridden it in my brain a little bit. But sometimes I will, um, do this weird thing where I'll do it, like, I'll know the word in Spanish but not German, and so I'll, like, use Spanish instead of German uh, sometimes. But at this point, when I try to, like, say something in another language, at this point, it mostly German words pop up in my brain. So, yeah. But, <clears throat> all right. We gotta, we gotta move along. Running out of time. Ooh, three, three, green, blue. Oof. All right, so you have to color a three, uh, and your options are green or blue. Not what I really want for my wings, but I gotta do it, so I guess I'll do I'll do this 
this, uh, I'm gonna do this section over here green. You know, just mix it up. And remember, there were no threes on this sheet to start, so we made all of the big wing, the, the eight lower wing sections, we turned those all into, um, we turned them all into uh, threes. So, yeah. Thank you, Cabbage King. I don't know if I would say I know so many languages. I can stumble through <laughs> a few languages. Um, my brain, my brain is not language friendly. Steve, my husband's brain, is way more language friendly. Um, and he can also just do the accents like better and easier. And so he can, even if he doesn't necessarily know the language, he can pretend to know the language a lot better than I can. So when we travel, unless it's, um, a Spanish speaking country, he, he's the one that, that like speaks, uh, or English, right? If it's an English speaking country, I'm the one that talks, but if it's, a, <laughs> if it's another language, it's, it's usually Steve. So when we go to like the Netherlands, uh, the Netherlands, I, we love Amsterdam and the Netherlands, but the Netherlands, they speak a lot of, um, English, Dutch, and German. So, uh, if we can't get by on English there, which is very rare, a lot of people speak English there, we'll try German, which is another reason why we like the Netherlands. Um, sorry, my Discord is blowing up. But if you're interested in learning a new language, Duolingo is actually really helpful and it is free. So that's what I've used for German before I, I got, I did enough Duolingo German to get where I could be like tourist, very, very American tourist level. And then I started getting like, uh, I bought books and um, I have a tutor. Um, so... And I started doing like German podcasts and things like that. That really helps too. All right. Uh, two and a three, green or purple, which is perfect for my wing. Yes. Now I have to decide if I'm just going to have like this one offset green section or if I'm going to try, if I'm going to make that whole other wing green. Like, I don't know what I want to do there. Maybe, maybe the dragon, there's like a, a blip in the dragon's pattern and like that one spot of that one wing section is just green just you know it happens it's like you know people that have like that one strip of like a specific color dr plorin learned italian entirely from duolingo and can use it okay as i travel see yeah duolingo is it does surprisingly well um, and if you pay for the plus thing, which is actually super affordable as well, um, you get a little bit more unlimited stuff, but like, I don't feel like you need it. You definitely don't need it to effectively use Duolingo. So, all right, running out of time. Ruel is going to play the key at the top of the hour. So we got to blitz through this. All right. One red or a three red or a one blue or a three blue. And I have been waiting for a one to come up again so I can work on... We, we still have a number of one spots. Um, hmm. Oh. I think I'm going to do the tail. The question is, what color is the tail? I think I'm going to make the tail red. We're going to have a red tail on our rainbow dragon. Now my Slack is blowing up. You know what I'm going to do to solve all of this? I'm just going to mute my computer. I figured it out. Do, do, do. There's a lot of spaces on this. I'm starting to wonder if there are too many spaces. Dun dun dun. It looks really cool though. All right, next up, two two green green. All right, so lots of options on this one, everyone. Um, 
so many options. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do this other fin. Actually, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this this neck part. I like that idea. Rolling. What game do you really want a lot of pairs in? Because I should be playing that game today. I should be playing that game. If you don't have a legal option to place a color in, you just don't color anything that round. So the goal of the game is to be the first one to color in your sheet. And so that's how that ends up happening, is if you have a space that you can't color, you have to sit out a turn. So... I'm getting down to the, the grounds on my coffee. Alrighty. Whoa! All right. So a two or a three with whatever color you want. Hopefully that'll make up for last round if you couldn't color. Um. Ooh, do I work on my wings or do I do like a belly part? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this belly because this belly, I want to be a specific color and um, <clears throat> there's a lot of other colors around it. So I want to make sure I get it colored and I'm going to do yellow. Because I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the yellow, like, underbelly. Because I can do this part yellow, too. And then this leg, I wanted to do blue, but technically I can't. So I think this leg is going to end up being purple. Maybe red. We'll see. We will see. Now I'm curious. One, two, three, four, five, six... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Yes, there are too many pips. There are too many pips. I will have to modify this coloring sheet before tomorrow's stream, but that's okay. We're going to play again tomorrow, same coloring sheet, but I'm going to change the pips, so you're going to have to reprint it out tomorrow after I change it. Because uh, if you try to play with this one again, you'll probably have too many. Um, we did it! I can do my yellow belly! Yellow tail! Woot woot. Yellow tail! Yeah, so we're all just doing the key at the top of the hour, and we're going to raid over and go watch uh, him do that playthrough with the whole family. Uh, but... I don't know if we can finish this in time. One, because I chat, and two, these coloring spaces are kind of big, and then three, there's a lot of them. So, let's see if we can kind of blitz through. Next one, well, if I keep making rolls like that, all right, two is the option, and red is the only color you can pick. So, I'm gonna do this fin here. There you go. Dun, 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 dun. All right, I need a lot of threes and ones. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. All right. Two yellow or a two blue or a three yellow or a three blue. <sighs> Not what I wanted. I only have one two space left, so I'm actually not going to color it in because that, or no, I guess I have two two spaces because of the sky. Um, but I don't want to get stuck where I have no, where like if a two roll comes up and it's just twos and I don't have an option. So I'm going to color this wing section blue. I guess this wing is going to be a rainbow wing. This wing is just going to be multicolored, I think is what we're going to do. Dun, dun, dun. 
All right, I hope you're keeping up, Miles. I know I'm going fast. Here we go. <clears throat> there we go. All right, so a three blue or a three red or a two blue or a two red. Very similar to last roll. Uh -huh. Excuse me. Um, I guess I'll do another blue wing section. We need some ones. Remember when I was rolling like nothing but ones? What happened to that? Do, 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 do. All right, we're getting down to the wire, both on time and color spaces. Oh, see, this is what I was worried about. All right, so you can only do a two space, but you can do it yellow or any color you want. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this, my last, well, my second to last two space, because the sky, the sky is technically a two space. Um, but I'm going to try and save that last because it's huge. <laughs> I'm going to retcon and say it's not the sky, it's this cloud. <laughs> or it's just not there. It's probably just going to not be there when I when I edit the sheet. Like, make notes. Um, all right. Oof. Need some ones. I have a bunch of ones left. Woohoo! A one! Okay, so one or three... And then blue or any color. And I really need to fill in my one spaces. So I'm going to do this one fin back here. And as I color it in, I realize I should have done this leg. Because his leg needs to be a specific color. But it's fine. Do that one fin. <clears throat> yeah, what color should I do that leg? I guess I have to make it purple. It could be purple or red by the rules of the adjacency. I actually kind of like how this wing looks being multicolored. Maybe next time I play, I'll make the wings all multicolored. Alrighty. Here we go. Oh! Alright. Three or two purple and blue. Um, I'm going to have to go ahead and do... I'm going to do this wing section, this last wing section, wing membrane, purple. Do, do, do. So if you're interest, interested, um, Color It is the game that we're playing. We're playing a promo sheet for Gen Con, uh, but it's $14.99 and it's available now. It's been available for a little while. But it's a fun coloring game for ages four and up, and it's available everywhere. The sky doesn't work with adjacency rules. Um, I actually, they sent me this promo sheet, and I was like, this is freaking cool! Um, yeah, adjacency is, sus is suspended for the sky. Um, just because it just, it just doesn't work. So I'm going to edit this sheet, because I actually didn't play it. I was just super excited that it existed. So this is my first time playing it, and I realized some of it doesn't work. So I'm going to edit it. So tomorrow morning stream, because we're going to play again tomorrow, there will be an updated dragon sheet available on the website. So everybody will have to go download that. But yeah, so one. Okay. One, three, any color you want or green. I'm going to do this leg over here. I haven't had to skip a space yet. So if you also haven't had to skip a space, you should have, let me see, one, two, three spaces left. So we're down to the wire. Let's see if we can do it before we go to raw stream. Probably not, but I'm going to try. <gasps> yes! All right. One, one, or a blue. <laughs> well, I have to color in uh, this space right here. All right, I've got the sky and this one wings thing left. Let's see if we can do it. I'm going to roll again. Here we go. <gasps> a one, yes, one red or a three red or a one purple or a three purple. And I really wanted a one red, so that's perfect. I'm going to do this 
uh, wing section red and then the only space I have left is the sky and adjacency rules are suspended for the sky so as long as I can get a two I'm good is anybody else close to finishing if I can't roll a two I won't finish and remember ties are friendly so it's just if everybody finishes at the same time it's great okay here we go. If I can rule it too. Da -da 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 -da. No! I didn't get a two. All right. I got a one blue or a one yellow or a three blue or a three yellow. Was that what somebody needed to finish the sky, to finish their game? Like if they already had the sky, they, they could, if you've been playing along and have a perfect thing, you, you could technically win this round. Did anyone win? this round. This is such a cool <laughs> rainbow dragon. <laughs> Alright, it's 10 o'clock. We run around. <gasps> Dr. Plan wins! Woohoo! Congratulations! Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, we do have a winner. Yay! Perfect timing. I'm just really curious if I can roll again. So I'm going to see if we get it. No, I don't, I don't, I don't get it again. So I almost finished. Uh, I still don't have the sky done. Um, Dr. Plurin, if you wouldn't mind, please, I would love to see your dragon. Everyone, I would love to see your dragon. Go ahead and take a picture and then tag us on social media. Um, we are Haba Games USA on Twitter. Um, we're also on Facebook under like the same name. Uh, so you can tag on those. We also have an Instagram. The Instagram, I think, is just Haba USA. So go ahead and tag us and we will see it. Thank you so much, everyone, for playing along. We're actually going to go ahead and raid Gen Con TV. Um, they're going to do a playthrough of um, the key now. Ruel is going to do a playthrough of the key. I'm really excited. If you're watching on Twitch, you just have to sit there and hang on and we're going to go. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for uh, playing along with us and watching. And I hope that you enjoyed. So... Yeah, awesome. All right. Goodbye, everybody. I don't actually know if the raid worked because <laughs> I'm not watching on Twitch. I should probably figure that out. But um, I hope everybody had fun. Thanks again for playing with me. Um, we'll see if the raid worked. Did the raid work? No idea. Da -da -da. Let's see. Did we raid? We're raiding. Okay. We are successfully raiding. There we go. Fantastic. Fantastico. Thanks again, everybody. Alright. And if you're watching on YouTube, thanks for sticking around. <laughs> Bye.